Top of the morning to you gamers, or should I say ha ha ha, take a seat, take a seat, or should I say top of the nether? No, I should not say that, I shouldn't say that. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 67767. Six, 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 oh boy, so the last episode was a big one. We accomplished a lot. It was a long episode, but it was a good episode. What did we accomplish, you ask? Well, of course, yeah, of course. Come on, come on. Don't be like that. You, you already, already know, know what we accomplished. accomplished. You saw the last episode. You would never skip an episode. No, 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 no. Up here is what we accomplished. The brand new, beautiful uh, gold bar that we're going to call Betsy. Betsy is a good name for it. Well, Betsy is the whole crossbow advancement. Gertrude. It's our lady Gertrude. That's the gold farm's name, okay? All right. So, yeah, last episode we set up a gold farm and the thing works and runs like a charm. Today, we're going to work a little bit more on the gold farm, make it a little bit more functional. Now, right at the end of the last episode, I found two gigantic problems. Uh, problem number one. Baby, zombified piglins were getting down below this thing. Uh, that's because I skipped the slab right here. If you don't put those slab on this block right here, then actually this is a whole solid, like, open block, like, non-solid, you know? And, and baby piglins can actually run right out of there. If you don't put a slab right there, the piglins are gonna get out. And, uh, if you put a solid block right there, then you won't get any experience. So, half slab right there. Thing number two, thing number two. There were even more mobs getting out uh, into the lower area. How could I forget? How could I do it to him? It's a really obvious one too. So check this out. I, I, I think we want trap doors here and then we can move out here. You see this gap right here? The same thing was happening. This is a whole open block. Baby zombified piglins were running through uh, that gap right there trying to get to me. And then they were just falling down to the lower part of the farm. And it was actually, like, really bad. I got pretty close to being taken out by the babies. But, you know, you know, I, I, it would never happen. It wouldn't actually ever happen. Taken out by a child. Come on, come on. What do you take me for? Couldn't be me. But if we put trap doors in here, I think that's going to solve that problem. So if you're building this farm and in your world, these are two gigantic improvements you need to make. A trap doors or, or something, like solid blocks, anything. Going all the way up to that ledge of the platform right there. And then a slab down there. If you don't do it bad things will happen so today we're gonna start things off with this collection system down here it's good but it's also like really really bad so this is really messy and this is what we got from using the thing just a tiny bit look at this like 15 gold ingots right there and then there's even more gold ingots up there because the chest filled up the sacks aren't even getting fully finished in here definitely a big problem Today, I think what we could do is actually set up an auto storage sorting system down here in this room that we're also going to build today. It'll make our life a whole lot easier. But before we do that, I think we need to actually make a little bit of a platform for that room. I've been busy. I've been grinding it out in the low nether in between episodes, getting blackstone. Blackstone and quartz. Two blocks that look really good, and I think also two blocks that would go really, really well together. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I, I'm not too sure, to be honest, but this is what I'm thinking. A checkered pattern. Blackstone bricks and, and polished blackstone down here as the floor instead of the crimson wood. No offense, crimson wood. It's just not really, it's not, not really cutting it. Honestly, it's kind of a problem, but I'm already kind of tired of it up there too. Yep, definitely a big problem, but we're going to have to deal with it at least for now because that's a lot of slabs. I would never have a use for those slabs, so we're going to have to just leave them there. Now, I was thinking on the floor, maybe, uh, maybe bigger sections to, to make it a little bit cleaner i'm not too sure really honestly I, i'm not sure i don't know if it should be like small checkers or big ones you yeah, looking at it now maybe it should be small checkers yeah um yeah that'll look better now how far does this floor go well i i was thinking about actually making this a pretty sizable room now i think this should go all the way to the edge of the glass over here that's how far the platform should go maybe even one block past then we build the wall up and we put more trap doors just to block spawns on those blocks i think that would look probably pretty cool so this room is gonna end up being pretty sizable and then inside of this room we should be able to fit everything like all of the auto sorter 
Uh, all of the other things that I want to put in here, like a respawn anchor. We finally have enough stuff for, for a respawn anchor, which is pretty cool. And yeah, just everything else. I want this to basically be a base away from, uh, a base away from base. He, he, yeah, yeah, that, that works. That sounds nice. So for the whole trap door thing, let's move out here and take care of that really, really quick. So I was thinking maybe trap door right there, there, and there. And this won't affect anything. This is just expanding the platform a little bit. So there and there. And then over here as well, wrapping around. And then under here, I don't know what we're going to do. We might just put the wall like covering the lantern. It's fine if the lantern's trapped in there. The light can still pass through. So trap doors are going to go all the way around the edge. And then we'll come in and put walls on the side. Uh, of course, walls for sure. It'll make this thing feel a whole lot more safe. Okay, so I don't know if this is really going to work or, or not. But I think this could maybe be cool. This is a really interesting looking farm. What if we were to maybe take a little bit more glass and actually on the sides of, of these things, like on the very corners, maybe we have glass coming all the way down. So like glass right there under that trap door and then glass over here under that trap door too. Then uh, on this side, we could do like quartz pillars going straight down. That could look cool. Quartz pillars over there on that side too. And then maybe in the middle over here, uh, this is strong maybe, but we made a snow farm a couple episodes ago and we haven't used any snow. Let's try this out. First things first, quartz pillars. Then next up, we're going to want to come in with snow blocks. Now, it's going to be flat, but I think it might work. I think the flat wall, like outlined by the quartz pillars, it might be fine. Small problem. I don't, I don't like, like it already. already. We have quartz pillars. Don't know how many of those bottom one in. And then I was starting with the snow blocks, but then I realized, you know, that's like really flat looking. So what if instead of that, Maybe we keep it a little bit more open. We could still use snow. Snow looks good. Snow isn't the problem. The problem, the flat connection. So maybe we put snow and then we could take all of this out, like snow stripe on the top, snow stripe on the bottom. And then maybe we do like windows in here too, or, or maybe the other option, some type of wall block in here that could look good too. We could even, oh, what if we outlined it with blackstone and then put glass panes in the middle? Oh, that's a genius move. Maybe that's it. Well, that was just about terrible. I hated it. I had to go down underneath this platform here, the safe area, uh, because of course I would use blocks that you need to go like, you know, underneath them to place the pillars. Yep. So I had to build down here with scaffolding, build out with blocks. It was very stressful to say the least. Stressful for sure. But there has been a big change of plan since last time. The old design, to put it quite simply, bluntly, it was ugly. It looked bad. Check the new design. It looks a whole lot better. Here we have quartz pillars on the corners still i think that looks nice but then in the bend area where we had glass before snow now honestly i think the snow looks a little bit better the glass texture was just too much now over here this is open still i don't know do i do glass panes or is glass still too much if that's too much then maybe i was thinking maybe fences fences could look cool in here they would match like warped or crimson ones it would work or blackstone walls but i really didn't want this build to get too dark and overpowering so with this gold farm anything that we'll be doing from this point on will actually be down underneath this area right here it'll be in the room below that we just set up because the room is safer if we need to use the gold farm we come up here if we need to do anything else we go down here we will still need to worry about blocking spawns though so like this crafting table technically a spawnable block that means we'll need to put like a button here or a lantern if we're going to leave it here forever otherwise we could get angry zombified piglins like spawning down here if we were to move out to like over there that could definitely be a problem we don't want that to happen we need to make this farm easier to use though these chests are getting clogged up that means it's auto sorter time and oh boy this is the first auto sorter of this world actually now usually i like to use water in my auto sorters i set some lock toppers up water goes across the top but we're in the nether water it melts Hey, can water melt? I, I, I don't, it doesn't work in the nether. So we're going to need to come up with a different way to do things. And thankfully, that different way to do things is pretty easy. It's just a little bit more expensive. So this is what I'm thinking. Auto sorter, instead of being in the middle of the room, goes off to the side. We'll have one tile right here, the second tile right here, the third one over here, and the fourth one right there. We need four separate tiles here for gold ingots, gold nuggets, rotten flesh, and the swords. This is what I'm thinking. Gold nuggets, gold ingots, rotten flesh, swords over here, and basically what is going to be the overflow area. These items are a little bit trickier to sort, so what we're going to do is just have them overflow at the end. Then we'll take all of these swords, put them into a furnace, melt them down into nuggets, and then put the nuggets right back over here where they go. Now this farm is very efficient. It's going to fill up quickly, so one chest for everything won't do. I'm thinking uh, probably actually three, maybe even four if we want to sink one down into the ground. It should 
should probably be more than enough, I, I think, hopefully. But for now, just to keep things clean, we'll start with the, just the starting chest. So that's going to be this top row of chests right there. Auto sorter supplies, this version. What do you need? Well, for one single tile of this auto sorter, you will need three hoppers, three redstone dust, one comparator, one repeater, a redstone torch, and then a couple building blocks. But this is an auto sorter, so you probably won't have just one tile. You're going to need to multiply these numbers by however many tiles you're going to have. So right here, we have four tiles, but this last one is unsorted. That means multiply these numbers, in my case, by three. And then you're probably going to need a way to move your items over to the auto sorter as well, so you'll probably end up needing a little bit more hoppers too. To start the auto sorter, place a chest down wherever you want the auto sorter to be. Then place a temporary block on top of it. If you want these blocks to be permanent, maybe use something like a staircase or something, but the block technically won't need to stay there forever. So I, I'm thinking like staircases. Staircases could look cool. Will it be blackstone? Will it be quartz? I don't know. Behind these staircases, we're going to want to crouch and place a hopper going into the staircase right there, just like that. This is actually going to be our filter hopper. Down below this hopper, we're going to place another hopper going into the chest. Redstone time! I think I want to put the redstone on the snow blocks. That would look pretty clean. I, I, I think that'll look good. So we're going to climb back up here and then place a building block down right next to this hopper down here, the second one that we placed. Then we're going to actually jump up on top of that building block, place another, place another, and then we actually need to place one diagonally down back here. How do I do that? Um... Probably like this. Great. I, I love it. More building out over the void. This is fun. I enjoy it. Yep. <laughs> That's what we need right there. Then we can go ahead and remove that and actually place a building block right there and then a solid block right there. This one down there, that's actually not necessary. So this auto sorter is actually going to hang out over this thing. We might have to put like trap doors or something around it to conceal it, or we could maybe just leave it open. I don't think mobs will spawn on the blocks with a redstone on them, but there's our block placement configuration right there. Now it's time for the actual redstone. The redstone is so simple comparator right there then we're gonna place redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust just like that then we're gonna actually move off of the scaffolding down here and get a repeater in which means this goes back right there repeater faces forward just like that and then finally to finish off this circuit redstone torch right there and then you're done that's one single tile of the auto sorter down now all i need to do is replicate it a couple more times so tile number two is going to go right next to it you can actually put these tiles right next to each other it won't affect anything it will all still work which is really really nice the red zone dust will link up but linking up isn't a problem now in my case remember that this final one is actually going to be unsorted unfiltered which means this final hopper right here could actually just go straight down into that one right there it doesn't matter on this last one and on the last one we're gonna place the blocks down just like we normally would but we actually won't place any redstone because again unfiltered unsorted everything else in this farm is going to just dump into the end chest all right so so far so good definitely not feeling the black zone up there but the sorters they're in now we need to actually set these sorters up to actually sort how do we do that well we need to actually lock the hoppers so like i said this first one is going to be gold nuggets we're gonna need five gold nuggets inside of this hopper at all times and then 40 placeholder items so these placeholder items maybe stone slabs that would work you could use really anything that won't be going into your system here so i could use snow blocks i could use uh like gold blocks gold blocks wouldn't be in here diamond blocks but rotten flesh definitely wouldn't work this hopper is now locked what this means is that anytime a gold nugget moves across this thing so let's say maybe gold nugget right here moves right across it this hopper will actually pick it up if it's something else like maybe redstone dust the hopper is locked it actually won't pick it up now another thing to know about this design how we're doing it uh one item will always be trapped in this bottom hopper right here so i threw a second gold nugget into here that means one is going to be in here and one's going to be down here technically you could come in and just pull that one out if you wanted to but one item will always get locked in the second hopper Tile number one, red zone setup, check, hopper locked. Five actual items, 40 placeholder items. Tile number two, this time we're going for gold ingots. So five right there, 40 right there, perfect. Finally, this one right here, that's gonna be the rotten flesh one. So five rotten flesh right inside of here, just like that. 
40 placeholders. This final one will not get locked. We leave it alone. All right, so, so far, so good. Everything is now locked and ready to go. All we need to do is move the items from this point right here over to this system and run all of the items across this top area so they can actually get picked up. How do we do that? Well, we'll actually start at the end that is unlocked. This one right here. Place a hopper facing down into it. Against that hopper, even more hoppers, but this time the hoppers are going into this hopper right there. So they're like all stringing together, you know, just like that. You're gonna run a line of hoppers across this whole thing. Now, when we throw something inside of here, if it's not going to be filtered out by all of these, it'll move all the way down here and end up in this chest. Meanwhile, if we put something that should be filtered here, like maybe, I don't know, rotten flesh, this is going to move across this one. It's not going to get stuck there or there. It'll actually get caught here and move down into this chest. You see, no rotten flesh over here. We're doing perfect and none over here too. What's going on here is actually really, really simple. So the items are being transported through these hoppers right here. If an item matches one of the locked hoppers, the locked hopper will actually unlock and pull that item out. So the rotten flesh is matching right here and being pulled out of the top row of hoppers. Long story short, all we need is a couple more hoppers that link up to this minecart right there. So it looks like I actually am going to have enough hoppers. If I take this hopper and this hopper, both of you boys, you come with me. Let's go. This is perfect. So here's what we end up with. Hopper right there, hopper right there, and then this hopper with the minecart, we're actually going to need to move it and turn it so it goes against that hopper right there. Minecart, come with me. Yes, so, or go over there. One of the two, it doesn't really matter. Hopper right there. Perfect. Rail right back there. Combine the hop. Wait. Hold on, I lost the hopper. Combine the hopper minecart just like that. Put it right back right there, and boom. This new system is finished. Everything is going to be moved over here into this sorting system. To show the thing off, check this out. We'll dump some swords in here, some rotten flesh, some gold nuggets, some gold ingots. Now, if we give it a second, check these chests. Only gold nuggets will go here. Only gold ingots will go there. Rotten flesh only. And then finally, all of the swords will be moved down to here at the end. And then we can take these swords and cook them up in a furnace, turn them into nuggets. But uh, let's say I wanted more swords for each item, which I, I definitely do. How do we do that? Easy. Uh, another chest right down below there. Another hopper connecting to that chest. And then we're actually going to do it again. Another chest right there. Another hopper. So now, instead of all of the items stopping in the first chest, they're actually going to be pulled down to the bottom chest. That's not a problem at all. So that means this sword system will fill from the bottom up. All we need to do is make sure this thing doesn't get overloaded or the whole system could break. That wouldn't be good. So now, check this out. I have rotten flesh, gold ingots, and gold nuggets. Uh, they're going through the system, and the rotten flesh is being put down into here in this bottom chest. Once the rotten flesh goes through, the gold ingots will go down to the bottom chest, and then same with the gold nuggets. So, big question. I can't remember how this works. We can't smelt up an enchanted gold sword, right? I'm pretty sure we can't. Oh, we can. We can smelt an enchanted gold sword. Oh! <gasps> That's crazy. That means what we could actually do here is hook this final one up to an auto sorter. So like this could be the input chest. Oh, that's crazy. We could just smelt all this up, but do I want to do that or do I want to disenchant the gold swords? Honestly, the experience coming from this farm like is going to be crazy and the enchanted the uh, this extra experience it's not probably going to be really worth it. We could probably just smelt all these swords up. That's crazy. Okay. Hmm, but do I want to do it like that? Ah, decisions, decisions, because this is going to fill up really, really quickly, the final sword one. Well, it seems like I have some things to think about, but I will tell you what, this auto sorter sitting like this right now is just not it. So I need to definitely make this auto sorter look a little bit better. Here's what I'm thinking. We can maybe start out with a blackstone base. I think that looks good. Then maybe on the corners, I could come in with like quartz pillars actually popping out. That could look pretty sweet. Which means, unfortunately, I need to go back down below this thing. But quartz pillars over there going up. That could look cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then maybe, like, honestly, iron bars over here to bar this all off. That could look pretty sweet, actually. Maybe on either end cap to help continue to make things look pretty sweet, we could come in with, with staircases. Quartz staircases. Quartz staircases always look good. So maybe we go over here and have a quartz staircase facing that way, like going in. Uh-huh. And then same thing on the other side. Quartz staircase facing like that. That'll look pretty good. Now, I'm actually thinking about leaving the hoppers exposed on this thing. I think the hoppers are kind of like... Uh, machine looking right uh, like i feel like it's kind of a cool vibe so we're gonna leave the hoppers exposed because otherwise we'd have to lower the ceiling and it would be crazy but these are spawnable blocks that need to not be spawnable
spawnable blocks. I don't want spawnable blocks here. Now, the blackstone in the back, what am I going to do with that? I'm thinking about actually leaving this blackstone here. I don't mind it, but what I do want to do is maybe have this pillar continue up or maybe even put light right there. That could look cool. Does this look weird? A little bit, but does it work? A little bit. We need to be careful. We need to be careful. I just realized this. These right here, spawnable blocks. Not good, not good. So, technically pointless. Let's go ahead and just remove all of the spawnable blocks. There we go. Now this wall. This wall, this wall. I'm thinking because we won't ever see out of this wall. Snow blocks. All the way up. Uh, all around the thing. It'll probably look good. Oh no. I'm back under this thing. Again. Definitely love it. This is fun. This is great. This is... I, I, I just love it so much. Then there we go. Look at it. I, I covered everything up, and now it looks so much better. You don't even know that there's an auto sorter back there until you know that there's an auto sorter back there. I feel like that looks pretty good. That's a solid unit. I'm going to leave it open on the sides because it does look kind of cool. And then the string of hoppers, it, it is still visible, but it's also not the worst thing in the world. I think that looks good. Now, all that I need to do is decorate the rest of this room. I need to figure everything out, figure out how I want to do it, and what things I'm going to need in here. I'm thinking that maybe later on what we could do is actually string maybe this final one like over and just set up an auto smelting unit like right in here but for now i've decided that i will do it manually but that doesn't mean that i'll do it the slow way nope nope definitely not this is what we're gonna do for sure uh three of them to start then i'm gonna get a little bit more iron i'll smelt up some more stone and make a fourth one somehow and put it somewhere now, another thing. Oh, it's finally, uh, finally time for this other thing. Respawn anchor. Oh, yes. Respawn anchor time. A respawn anchor is absolutely going to go in this room. I think it would be cool to have the respawn anchor maybe like centered on this wall over here. All that I need to do is figure out what I'm doing with these walls first. But maybe for now, we can just drop it down. We'll put it right there, maybe spaced out from the wall. This right here is a respawn anchor. The respawn anchor is a brand new thing, at least to us. So the respawn anchor was added in mine. Minecraft 1.16 and it is of course used for setting your spawn to do it glowstone use it on the respawn anchor and then use the respawn anchor again and then there you go respawn point set so now if anything bad were to happen to me up there while using this farm it wouldn't be the end of the world I was spawned right back down here I'd be able to sort things out or go back to the other base and then I'd be able to go back up there and get everything that I lost we'll definitely be seeing more of the respawn anchor a little bit later on but those are the basics for now, here's my plan for the smelting setup. Hopper right there, hopper right there, hopper right here, hopper right there. Then on top of all of these hoppers, even more chests. What I'll do is I'll move swords from that sorting area over here to these chests. The chests and hoppers will take care of the funneling of the swords down into the furnace. In other news, I've made the decision. This wall, definitely this wall glass panes, and the other one, on the opposite side, glass panes too. This wall, not too sure still. Maybe paintings would look cool there. I really don't know. Lighting. Oh, lighting. It's way too dark in here for sure. Absolutely too dark. Here's what I'm thinking. We move over. Right here would be the perfect spot for a block. Right there. Chiseled quartz. Then chiseled quartz right there. And then over here on this side, uh, there's chiseled quartz right there. Then we can actually move down off of this thing. Can we reach it? Aw, oh, so close, but so far. But anyways, check this out. Chains hanging from that thing. Lantern right there. Lantern right over here. That's going to help a lot. We will still put more lighting down here though like sitting on tables and things like that because lanterns are an amazing way to block spawns so, so for example this crafting table definitely want to have a crafting table in here for sure maybe we set it over here and then right on top of the crafting table we put a lantern that makes it even more bright all right a little bit of time later and it's time for the comments of the day today's comment of the day is about the buttons on the snow farm build so i've seen a lot of comments about it yeah i have definitely decided that the buttons on the front of the build are just way too much i'm gonna remove those buttons but the buttons on the top will stay because you can't really see them anyways so it doesn't matter so today's build the gold farm the good old base here's what i've come up with i am really happy with it so these are just temporary those will move that's you know like the building supplies but over here i have a crafting area an extra chest for extra chest things a stone cutter i brought a lodestone compass up here i'd love to have a lodestone up here i just can't really afford it right now so maybe lodestone eventually 
lodestone compass at least though that's linked up to the nether hub the respawn anchor i had to move it so i lost the charge a little bit of a bummer and then i i like to get some crying obsidian and put it right there i forgot it i, I was just at the overworld and yep i forgot it but anyways moving on we have a brink sand over there just for a show i think they look cool then over here the whole smelting thing for the sword so check this out when we're done with the swords uh, like i am right now we can go over here and put some over there put some here put some here i have blaze rods in the furnaces put them over there and they're going to smelt up and they'll actually turn into gold nuggets it's just like that so i'm gonna go ahead and actually move i think all of these swords over right now the cool thing about this is uh, the, the fact that the sword's durability doesn't matter at all. Like, you can have a perfect health sword or a sword that is about to go away, and you will still get exactly the same amount of gold nuggets. Over here, I did incorporate a grindstone into the setup. I think everything that I get from this farm, even these, like, crazy cool swords like that one, will be disenchanted. I, I just don't have a use for gold swords. I'd rather disenchant them than turn around and throw them into the furnace. I feel like that's a good way to do things there's also uh, a furnace right there for other smelting things so there we go all of these things are loaded up no more gold swords for me over here we have labels on everything and then up top i actually did figure out how to do the lighting uh check it out i have a floating piece of shroom light right there trap doors around it i feel like it's fine it, it works it's a little weird looking but it does work so here we go first run of the farm of the day i think i'm going to use this a little bit off camera let's go ahead and get these guys mad we stand right here they should all rush over there should be zero flaws with this thing now which is going to be amazing we stand right here they all funnel right down into there i stand here and take them out and then the auto sorter takes care of it all for me anything that i need to do i can then go underneath this area right here and do uh, yeah whatever i need to do I'm pretty sure the only problem with this system now is going to be a uh, clog. So this thing will fill up very, very quickly. There's really no good way around it. It's just going to fill up quickly. Th that's how it is. The minecart with the hopper in it can only pick things up so quickly. But now we are going to have gold for days and experience for days. Fixing anything up anytime is going to be so easy. By the way, I put iron bars behind me. I think it looks sweet. Anyways, though, that's going to do it for today's episode of The Guide. If you enjoyed it, smash like and subscribe. What do you think about the base? Is there anything that I should add? If there is, let me know down in the comments below. Today, big, big shout out to my patrons, Ground Crazy May and Archangel. Thank you so much for the support. Until next time, stay fresh. It's been me, your boy, Gertrude. Uh-huh. <laughs> Goodbye.